Hello, we are Sonia Verdugo Castro, Maricruz Sánchez Gómez, Analicia García Holgado from the University of Salamanca. And our work is entitled The Opinion of the Spanish University Population on the Insistence of Studies and Professions According to Gender. About the introduction, there is gender segregation in the academic and employment sector of STEM. Thus, there is a tendency towards male over female representation. According to theories such as the social cognitive career development theory and self efficacy theory, motivation are a conditioning element of the gender gap. Representation fuels are also a result of how decisions are made about which higher education study to pursue. The influence of the choice at the final decision made. The general objective of the work is to determine the opinion of the Spanish university population as to whether there are typical studies and profession for men and women. The opinion on this question reveals what motivation they may have. The QSM HE questionnaire was applied and validated to achieve this objective, and the content received for one of the open questions was analyzed. About the methodology, a missed questionnaire has been designed and empirically validated to detect gender stereotypes about STEM studies in higher education. The questionnaire with university students of STEM studies in higher education is composed of a Likert scale and a, four, a group of five open ended questions, in addition to sociodemographic questions. The statements of five instruments designed by other authors inspired the statements included in the Likert scale of the questionnaire. This paper explores the answer received to the question, do you think there are studies and profession for men and for women? If so, please indicate which ones and why do you think this difference exists? For the interpretation of the answer received to the open-ended questions, there have been analyzed by gender and branch of knowledge. About the simple, the final simple consists in 2,101 people belonging to Spanish universities, students, and graduates. The sample comes from different Spanish public and private universities. About the results, in this uh, figure, we can see some results for men in the file of engineering and architecture. About the discussion and conclusions, when women are asked if they consider there are studies and professions for men and for women, there are answers that then this differentiation exists. However, in other cases, the majority either indicate there are professions according to gender, but common or this critically, alleging that there are differences is in thus by tradition gender roles expanding through history and the stigmatization of society. Other clearly stereotypes about which studies and professions should be for men and which should be for women. Women who know the results from stereotypes punish and harshly in their speeches. As indicated in some speeches, sexism and patriarchy have generated a system of oppression in which women have to serve men in both the public and private spheres so that male supremacy can occur. Nevertheless, it is a concern that there are still women who believe in this classification and attribute arguments such as that men are more robust and more corpulent. As for men, they also recognize that part of the segregation in studies based on being a man or a woman is due to culture, tobinims, gender socialization, and in general discriminatory movements such as LGTB phobia. Also, they point out that women require to a greater extent model reference and draw inspiration from leading the to feminize studies. Thank you very much.